Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is part 2 for our Luigi RG EST 310B2 wireless bridge. And for a recap from our previous video, a wireless bridge actually connects two locations that is far away from each other, like one kilometer or more. But for that previous test that we have done, we were only able to do 130 to 150 meters range because we are limited with the space that we have on our location. The connection is stable and at the same time, that is the only time we were able to complete a Mobile Legend game without any lag. And I would really recommend you to watch that video to see the actual test and of course to see the configuration and setup of this EST 310V2. And now for the second video, I will show you on how to access and manage this EST 310 using web browser on a computer via Ruigi Cloud Portal. And of course, another question would be, what if there is no internet access? And what if I don't have Cloud Portal? Okay, I will show you on how to access and manage this as well using the local connectivity or local connection to this wireless bridge. Since we have our internet connection, let's try to access the Ruigi Cloud Portal to access the bridge that we have configured. And you can see here the project name is Bridge. Click on this one. And after this one, you'll be able to see here the EST310B2 that we have configured. This is the topology. And let's try to click on Bridge Overview to see what are the things that we can see. We have here information like the delay, channel utilization, RSSI, and of course the rate. And aside from that one, no other information. So let's go back and click on the actual bridge group. Then, of course, you'll be able to see here the other information again for the two devices that we have configured. So, Ruigi 1 and Ruigi 2, it has the serial number, management IP, and of course, the other information. So, what are the things that we can do if we click one of these devices? You'll be able to see here the monitoring, diagnostics, and lag history. And aside from that one, nothing else. So, what if you want to access the actual device or the actual bridge to configure or change some settings so you can actually do this one anywhere you are as long as you have internet connection and of course your bridge is also connected to the internet so let's try to click on eweb okay and this one will be the one responsible on creating a tunnel to directly connect to those specific bridge that you have configured so let's click on create tunnel Okay, and there you go. It already redirect me to the web management portal of that specific EST310. Okay, and let's try to check on what are the things that we can do here. So we have here uh, under the overview, it gives us the NVR AP, the information like the MAC IP, and of course, the latency flow and the camera CP or the other end and bandwidth good medium poor okay bandwidth is good and other information in here as well so on the top we have here performance mode you can choose again high bandwidth mode normal mode or anti-interference but for us we're going to choose the normal mode because this is a well balanced for the high bandwidth and anti-interference mode if you choose high bandwidth mode there might be issues like for interference with other wi-fi network while if you choose anti-interference mode it will be focusing on anti-interference and the bandwidth will be suffering for this mode okay and you can change the wds password admin password ip allocation and ssid on this overview page as well so let's try to click on the lan Okay, on the LAN, right now we have configured this one on the HCP because it's connected to my network. And aside from that one, let's click on wireless. We have here WDS. And of course, you can change the channel and transmit power if you want. Like for example, the 5G channel, it is set to auto. It will check the best channel possible for no interference. And of course, the channel width, you can change it as well to auto or 20, 40, or 80 megahertz. Aside from that one, you can change the distance, but the recommended is actually one kilometer. For the three kilometer, I won't be able to test that one. For our previous test, we were only able to test around 130 meters. Okay, then aside from that one, let's click on the country region. Of course, we have configured this one to set in the Philippines. 
Next will be on the advanced. For the advanced, you can only change the flow control in here. For flow control, it can relieve the data congestion caused by ports at different speeds and improve network speed. So currently, this is enabled. And next one for the diagnostics, we have your network tools for uh, ping, trace route, or DNS lookup. And of course, we have your fault collection as well. Compress the configuration into a file for engineers to identify the fault if there are any faults for these configurations. And next one will be for the system tools, like you can change the time and of course management. For the management, you can create a backup config. So in case there are any issues, you can actually import that config as well. So you'll be having the same configuration that you have set on that backup config. And of course, you have your reset if you want to reset the device to clear the configuration. And of course, session timeout and we have here the update if there is any update available for these devices and of course lastly is the reboot now let's try to access the wireless bridge like if we are just on the local network meaning that uh, i'll visit the site and there is no actual internet so i won't be able to remotely configure or check the configuration of this wireless bridge of course if you are locally on site connected to the network you should always remember the ip address that was assigned or set to those wireless bridge and if you have set it to static or reserve that will be great for us this is the ip address that that we have set on those wireless bridge so of course the password that we have set enter that one and of course you'll be able to access the wireless bridge and change the configuration or see the configuration if there are anything wrong with your wireless bridge aside from knowing the ip address that was set or configured on your wireless bridge you'll still be able to access it using the default ip address that was configured on those devices when the time you purchase it like for example, on us, it is also located or indicated on the manual that this is the IP address for the web management console. It is 10.44.77.254. And of course, the password won't be the same. You'll be using the password that you have set when you configure this wireless bridge. Okay. And there you have it. I was able to log in using the IP address that is indicated on the Luigi manual and there you have it guys this wireless bridge is really easy to manage with or without internet connection so if you are looking for something to connect an off-site office or just give your friends an access to the internet or your network a wireless bridge might be a solution but always remember this only works if it is in line of sight if there is any obstacle in between like maybe a tree a car or a wall it won't actually work and i think that will be all for now if you have comment and suggestion comment down below or message me at jk chavez on fb again guys thanks for watching have a great day stay safe and bye